welcome back, long time no see. It's funny to think how different this month has been for me compared to this time last year when I was posting a video every single day. Can't believe how quickly this month has passed without me posting anything. That wasn't the plan, obviously. I knew I'd miss maybe a week or so. Even this video you're watching was recorded a couple of weeks ago with the intention of having it as my first half of October catch up mid month. And I've only just gotten around to editing it today. I really underestimated just how difficult moving house would be and adjusting to a new space to live and work in. A month in now, I'm still nowhere near used to it or settled into a new routine, but sometimes you just have to bite the bullet, work with what you've got, get on with the things that you need to be getting on with, whether you're comfortable or not. So that's where we're at today. I wanted to share with you my progress so far with Inktober. Like I was saying, very different to last year's. This one has kind of been rife with just like struggle and mistakes and stress and dissatisfaction, but it's also been a real lesson for me in perseverance and also in just taking a risk and doing things that just aren't gonna work and being able to make those mistakes and give myself permission to fail, which I've discovered is so much easier when you're not sharing every step of the way on social media. So to start out with, I was using colour unlike last year where I really got into playing with value. Um, I just wasn't in the mood for the grayscale look this time round, but the only coloured inks that I had were the Winsor & Newton ones, which I've always had issues with, whether it's the ink drying up or evaporating or coming out a totally different colour to last time I used them. So this time round, I dug them out to discover that only a few of them were still usable. It must be something to do with how I store them. I've just always found them problematic like that. But the limited colour palette problem turned out to be more of a good thing and as the colours themselves went really nicely together and had an overall kind of autumnal look about them. So I was pretty excited about what I could do with them. Then coming up with a theme, I'm not good at following prompt lists, especially for a daily drawing thing, the pressure of interpreting a word that might not spark something for me, it just, it just doesn't work. So I always go with a theme, just like a general overarching thing. It took me so long to come up with something that I liked, but eventually I settled on antiques, which I was pretty happy with as an idea. And again, that and the colours, I had a good idea of what finished product I was looking for. In the meantime, I was already a week or so behind and had been able to see other people's Inktober art. And all of it is just amazing this year. And I love seeing the different ways that people are doing things. It's all just so inspiring. I kind of wanted to do it too, like do it all. You know, the harmony of Kendall Hillegas's round food drawings or like the simplicity and style of Furry Little Peaches and the design and just the, oh my God, pure quality of Audra Eau Claire's and the amazing contrast and like real celebration of ink in Loish's work. It was just so easy to see all that every day and think whatever I do is not gonna be anywhere near as skilled or even just as like stylistically mine as that. You start to question your voice and like what your contribution will be to the table, but I cracked on with it anyway. I'm glad I did. Inktober is just one of those things since I completed it last year. I feel like it'll just be an inevitable part of my autumn forever now. So I started with this approach that you saw in the first drawing, which was obviously completely different to what I'm doing right now in the video. I was basically using the colors like I would watercolors and it just didn't work. Um, ink has more of a mind of its own, I guess, and it bleeds and it doesn't layer in the same way that I wanted it to. So the first drawing was okay, but it wasn't what I had in mind. So I changed my approach, um, adapted to the ink's needs and also just really tried to celebrate ink's qualities and highlight the beautiful colors that I was using. I initially wanted to outline the pieces with a lovely calligraphy set that I got from Caroline, one of my wonderful viewers, but again, that didn't go to plan and strangely I didn't feel defeated, even like as I was saying about the other artists that are taking part this year, um, as much as I was comparing myself to them, I really was just so in awe of what they were doing and I still am, just following other people this year has been incredible and I think it's been fun not to be taking part as much and to really be able to appreciate what other people are doing with Inktober. I think the difference this year was that I already knew I wasn't going to be sharing each and every drawing as it happened, so I was giving myself time to just try stuff, have it not work, try something else, but keep making and keep finishing things regardless of how they looked or how they met with my expectations. Obviously, going all month without sharing anything on social media wasn't the plan and really isn't good for the health of my social media profiles, but I think it was good for the health of my art and my attitude towards it, and that is what matters most at the end of the day. I'm not totally satisfied with my Inktober drawings. I wanted to get more outside of the box, really explore a different style, and due to things going wrong, I did fall back into, you know, somewhere close to my comfort zone. But I do always appreciate Inktober for coming with lessons and getting me into good habits. When I'm settled into the new place, I'm looking forward to challenging myself more and finding a better balance with what I make and what I share, but overall, I would call this a success. I think anyone that's drawn anything this month has to celebrate some form of success, whether you drew every day or just one day, or even if you didn't take part in Inktober at all, just did your own thing. 
the importance of any challenge is just catering it to you in a way where you'll actually come out of it having tested yourself and in doing that improving and maybe not in an obvious way just just a little step in the right direction anyway <laughs> Ooh, I need to stop and breathe this is what happens when I don't get to talk to you guys for a while I say all the things at once the footage for this video I understand was a bit all over the place um, I've realized as well that as, even though I felt like I was filming a lot, I really haven't filmed a lot. So, you know, I think just the folders on my computer have been a bit jumbled with the footage sitting around for so long, but I will have a video in a few days time about what I plan to do with these finished drawings. Um, well, hopefully you'll get to see all of them. I wanted to put them together into one big poster just for me, not to sell, um, just to keep them all in one place and be that physical representation of my second Inktober completed in full. Anyway, let me know how you guys have been getting on. I always love hearing your variations on different challenges. So if you've been doing something different this month, I would love to know more about it. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon for the next video.